Hi curious people, welcome back to another nail video. Today we're going to remove gel, but what is my updated process? This is a beautiful chrome application from Rachel Messick, who is one of the nail artists for Kokuis, which is one of my favorite brands of Japanese gel. And it's been a few days and I unfortunately have lifting on my nail, which is my index finger. It was just a demo nail from the Nail Expo, the city's premier beauty show with a lot of hair and nail stuff. So I got to go and have Rachel teach me all the chrome application steps and end up with this beautiful peacock chrome result. Unfortunately, this is my problem nail. It is extra curved and it just like wears the worst because I use this finger the most. It is my right index finger. And maybe there wasn't enough prep because it is a demo nail so she didn't get to do like the full service on it. I'm sad to see this beautiful chrome go but it is lifting a lot around the cuticle area and sidewalls. So I'm going to show you the complete gel removal process, taking it down back to the natural nail. However, caveat, this is not what I would do if I'm going in and doing another set of gel on top. I would just take it and smooth it down to base coat. So I'm not taking it down to natural nail unless I'm just deciding to take a gel break, which is what I'm doing right now. First step is actually step zero. You want to take a step back and decide how long you want your regular nails to be, um, either for bare or for a new gel application. You would want to trim it down to that length right now before you start filing off anything. Step one, take an extra coarse nail bit or an extra extra coarse if you're very experienced and file off the majority of the bulk. Step two, you wanna switch bits to medium and carefully file off this thin layer that you've left that is super close to your natural nail. I suggest switching to medium here or like fine because you're gonna be so close to your natural nail, you don't wanna make a mistake. You also want to slow down and really take your time and care and go around and take it down as far as you feel comfortable. The more you file, the less you have to soak off. So the more you can file off the gel, the better it is for the soaking off process, which is step three. You wanna soak off the remaining gel with pure acetone and some sort of nail wrap. Here, I love to use um, bounty paper towels and a nail clip. However, you can use aluminum foil, I suggest heavy duty, and a cotton ball or also paper towel, whatever you want to do. Step four, you want to soak for 10 to 15 minutes, check it, and then gently scrape it, and then rewrap it, and repeat until you get all the gel off. So here I checked after five minutes and you can already see the pure acetone doing a good job taking off the top layer of that gel. I rewrap and I had to wait another five to 10 minutes before I can get all the gel. At the end, you can gently nail file the rest of the gel off. Last but not least, we want to cuticle oil and rehydrate everything that's been dried out due to the pure acetone and the removal process. So pamper yourself, use a lot of hand lotion for the next few days, and take care. I'll see you in the next curiosity.